I think that the IT directors are prepared, but the problem you've got is that the investment and the leadership at the top isn't. Um, there isn't the funds directed in the right way and in the right areas, and there isn't sufficient guidance to support people to make sure they're doing a coordinated approach to you know, introducing new technology. The whole liaison with the patient, involving the patient in their decision and the wellness model, means that we've got to make a radical change to IT. And at the moment, we're too focused on big EPRs or connections between small inter-systems. And really, we need to look at how we can uh, make big changes across whole health economies so that we're not looking at individual trusts, but we look at communities of care. We need interoperability platforms. You know, there's a lot of talk about open source, and open source is great for innovation and getting communities of care. But the fact is, we still need systems that are ready to use now, but they need to be based on open standards. Interoperability platforms that can remove all the requirements for interfaces, but enable all parties to start accessing data appropriately uh, and using that data, be it for analytics, be it for research purposes. You know, that's the sort of technology that we really need to start moving in. It's not about the hardware, it's all about software. You know, we get a lot more control over services and systems when they're software based. When we talk about interoperability of services and systems, you know, that's the bare essentials that we need to get in place. Allow you know, data between organisations to be accessible by any clinician at the point that it's required. It also means we don't own multiple you know, electronic systems, clinical systems that a patient needs to input into every time they go to see a care provider. It should be that all their details core details are shared across anyone so when they turn up we've got access to the right information and don't need to test it all out in terms of getting the patient to tell us again to confirm it or to provide evidence you know we should have that already the patient expects us to be able to see their record in the NHS and yet they're always surprised when they go in and they go from department to department and have to give exactly the same details yet again or they go to see their GP and the GP doesn't know they've just come out of hospital because that, you know, the communication hasn't taken place. It's critical that we have platforms like the Executive Leadership Summit. Um, the reason being is because it provides a network for people to come together, to share best practice, to learn about what's going on elsewhere. If we don't share, we all end up trying to reinvent the wheel, and we can't do that. There aren't many networks that go across the whole of the NHS at a level that we can all buy into, from CIO, CCIO, CEO, CFO. You know, We've got to bring all those people together to understand that when we're talking about health and informatics, we're not just focusing on the IT guys, we're focusing on the leadership in an organisation. And we've got to bring them all together to understand about the benefits. Now that's the only way people are going to learn and be able to move forward.